Hello and welcome to a new tutorial for Open Computers. Today we want to see how to work with robots. Robots are computers that can move and interact with the world. If energy consumption is enabled, they need energy just like a computer. Different actions cost a different amount of energy. For example, to move the robot is more expensive than to turn the robot. Robots can be charged when they are next to a charger block. The charger can be activated with a redstone signal. If they should emit energy without a signal, you can change this with a Buildcraft compatible wrench. In general, robots act just like normal computers, with the limitation that they cannot interact with external components. For example, they can't use the redstone I.O. block. The GUI of a robot contains a console for text input, an inventory, an equipment slot, a slot for components, a disk drive and a slot for upgrades. The console offers the same functionality as on a computer. Additionally, a library is available that allows the robot to perform various actions, the library robot. Robots can be moved with the commands robot forward, robot back, robot turn left, robot turn right, robot up and robot down. The highlight shows which inventory slot is currently selected. It can be changed with the command robot select index. Most of the commands that interact with the inventory of the robot work with the selected slot. If a block is selected, for example, it can be placed with the command robot place in front of the robot. Some items like seeds or bone meal can also be used using robot place. For blocks like torches or stairs, the facing is important. To place a block like this on a specific side, you can specify that side with robot place side. If a usable item is in the equipment slot, it can be used with the robot swing or robot use. Robot swing corresponds to a left click, robot use a right click. As with robot place, the side can be specified with the first parameter. Robots can only interact with blocks in front, above and below them. For example, to place a block above a robot, you can use robot place up. To mine a block below a robot, you can use robot swing down. For convenience and to serve as a simple example, a basic dig program is already included. It can be executed by entering dig followed by the size of the area to excavate in the shell. Once the robot inventory is full, it will return to its starting point and drop all items into the block that was behind it when the program was started. Therefore, it is generally a good idea to place a chest behind the robot when starting the dig program. Component slot can be used for components like the redstone card or the VLAN card. They can be used just like on a computer. More information about components can be found on the wiki and in a separate tutorial. Floppy disks can be used to transfer programs from one robot to another. More information about floppies and the file system can be found on the wiki and in a separate tutorial. Robot-specific upgrades can be placed in the upgrade slot. Upgrades can be used just like standard components and are only special in the sense that they can exclusively be used inside robots. The following upgrades are available by default. The generator upgrade used to generate energy while on the go by burning coal or a different fuel. The solar generator upgrade 
used to generate a small amount of energy during day if the sun is shining. The crafting upgrade, which allows the robot to craft items. The sign IO upgrade, which allows the robot to read and write text on signs. The navigation upgrade, which allows the robot to determine its position relative to the center of the map, used the crafting update. The range is determined by the size of that map. The height can also be retrieved. More information on the upgrades, such as a list of method, can be found on the wiki. Robots gain experience when interacting with blocks, such as by placing or breaking them. For each level a robot gains, its internal energy buffer increases in size and its proficiency in handling its tool increases, meaning durability will decrease more slowly and the time it takes to break block also decreases. That sums it up for this time. Thanks for watching. Until next time.